So, we've made it. This week we finally get to the full Christmas story. We've looked at Abraham and his promise from God of a family who loved God as much as he did, and that would cover generations and generations. We've met Isaiah, the brave prophet, telling God's people to stay focused, to live for him, and not to try and live life their own way. And then last week we met a really special friend and relation of Mary, a lady called Elizabeth, who had another special baby, and a very special child called John, who would eventually earn the name John the Baptist and would baptise Jesus himself. And this week we hear Mary's story. Now, of course, we briefly met her last week when she came to see Elizabeth and told her about the baby. But there were a few developments for Mary after that. The people who ran the place she lived in decided they wanted to work out how many people were in the country by asking everyone to go back to the place where they were from so they could get counted. And so even though it was nearly time for the baby to be born, Mary and her husband Joseph had to travel back to a place called Bethlehem, quite a long way away. So off they went on a donkey. Now Mary must have been very tired, and I imagine she just wanted to get to Bethlehem and find a nice place to stay. But that didn't happen. When they got to Bethlehem, there were no rooms left. The only place to stay was a stable with a load of animals and so that was where the baby was born that was where Mary had her special baby her tiny newborn baby born in a stable now of course later there were shepherds and kings who came to visit but it's Mary that we're thinking about chosen by God courageously said yes to God's plan for the world and then cuddled and cared for her baby in a stable full of animals Thank you, God, for Mary. May we learn that God chooses us and that we can be courageous for him and that we can care for those around us and those whom we meet.